Hello everyone, this is Xiaoran from Wenlab Rutgers University. Today I'm going to present our work towards flexible wireless charging for medical implants using distributed antenna system. Deep tissue wireless power transferring is crucial and thought after in many scenarios. For example, in tissue wireless power could potentially help implants users avoiding surgeries for battery replacements. And a flexible in-body wireless power could greatly improve the versatility and even functionality of controlled drug release. Further, the deep tissue power is a key enabler for in-body and body area communication, such as sending out monitored vital sign data or interfacing of electronics with human brain. Existing approaches for in-body wireless power transferring are many two categories, near-field and mid to far field wireless charging. Near-field methods leverage the inductive coupling between transmitting and receiving cores, but the charging devices in this method have inherently large form factor and they will also suffer from coil misalignment. As such, it can be bulky and inconvenient. On the other hand, mid to far field wireless charging methods has relatively low charging efficiency, as well as the risk of overheating. Our method belongs to this category, and we focus on solving these issues by leveraging the advantages of wireless beamforming. Beamforming can greatly enhance the wireless charging efficiency by aligning transmitter phase towards the target receiver. In traditional energy beamforming systems, the centralized phase array will form an energy beam towards the energy receiver. As a result, any obstacles blocking on the beam path would largely reduce the charging efficiency, and the blocking subject herself will receive even higher energy than the intended target receivers hence suffering from overheating. By contrast, distributed beamforming spreads the energy transmitters around the target, but aligning the transmitter faces at the target at the same time. As demonstrated in the previous work, in distributed beamforming system, energy would be spatially focused around the target receiver as if forming an energy ball, which potentially avoiding overheating and blocking issues, which further translates to a safer charging environment. It is hence a natural choice for our deep tissue charging system. Implement distributed beamforming is however much more difficult than traditional centralized beamforming due to the fact that the transmitters are geometrically distributed, which means independent signal processing and inhomogeneous channel state information at each transmitter. Further, large signal attenuation in deep tissue makes obtaining CSI prohibited. We hence adopt a closed-loop implicit phase alignment method that requires no CSI and all transmitters can work fully independent. This method only requires the target receiver measure the ISS. The target receiver would iteratively guide the transmitters to build up the beamforming through feedback. In this realization example, we can clearly see the convergence process and we can consistently achieve the optimal beamforming power using this method. Directly apply the previously mentioned distributed beamforming method is not going to work due to the unique requirements and challenges in our scenario. The first challenge is that the implanted device are usually very low power. The previous mentioned method requires the receiver frequently compare the receiving signal strength and encoding a feedback signal to transmitters, which is power demanding in the long run. In our design, we offload all these computations to an out-of-body user node using backscatter. This is feasible because the previous mentioned beamforming method only requires RSS as a target receiver. Please note, normal passive backscatter has a nonlinear input and output relationship. To solve this issue, we present a dual antenna monotonic backscatter design. Here is an example input and reflected signal from our backscatter. As can be seen, the reflected signal shares similar RSS as an input signal, but in a different frequency band. As such, we can infer this received signal strength as implanted backscatter by using the reflected signal received at an all body leader node. And let this leader node undertake all the following signal processing and feedback broadcasting. We therefore call our system in and out. The next immediate challenge is a severe energy loss in animal tissues. Due to the two-way backscatter signal propagating, there will be less than negative 100 dBm received power at the all-of-body leader node, which translates to no CSI or even no RSS available for beamforming. In our design, we adopt chirp spreading as well as addressing its two sub-challenges to extract the minor signal change under the noise floor and then feeding this extracted information to the implicit beamforming algorithm to build up the beamforming. We here show an example measure energy distribution inside of Procbetty. We can clearly see an energy hotspot tightly formed around the target implants. Please note our system could achieve much higher delivered power in regular living rooms because they are usually smaller than our test beds. And also we can easily scale up our system due to the advantages from distributed beamforming as we discussed previously. Thanks for listening. Please find detailed system design and experiment results in our paper.